All right, all right. This is me trying to, trying to manifest a PlayStation 5 into my life. So, so, okay, okay. PlayStation, PlayStation, PlayStation. Darn it. What is up guys? Welcome back to Hobby Bolt. My name is Skylar and today is Mobile Suit Miss Day 20. Day 20 and I still don't have a PlayStation 5, but it is okay because I have been playing so much Journey to Jaburo on my beloved PlayStation 2 that I can wait patiently so I can play Cyberpunk 2077 not bugged. Today I'm feeling a little bit better, but we're still doing a laid back video. I wanted to give you guys a last minute gift guide to Gundam merch. I wanted to do a couple of other stores or places that you can go last minute because we know that shipping times are kind of going to be messed up and also all Gundams are overpriced right now. So let me just give you a couple of stores for you to get something for the Gundam fan in your life or a treat yourself gift because I am all about treat yourself gifts. Okay, so let's start with box lunch. After I got my awesome shirt, before I got sick, I went back to the mall because I was really curious about what else box lunch had that was Gundam merch. So when I went in the other day, I found a for her girls cut fit baby tee that had the Haro balls on it. If you guys walk in there and you have a girl in your life who loves Gundam or just thinks that Haro balls are cute, definitely get that one. Also, another thing that I saw that I had no idea was an RX-78 backpack that literally looks like a shield and you turn it around and it says RX-78. I'll show you the pictures right here. It blew my mind. It's so much nicer than the previous version that I saw floating around the internet that was just like his actual shield, but this is like a legit nice book bag that you could use that is subtly nerdy. It's definitely worth checking out. As well as uh, sometimes, sometimes box lunch will have model kits, but for the most part, no. They're pretty much set to figures, clothes, other pop culture things. So definitely check out box lunch if you have not gotten a chance to. After that, of course, I had to check out Think Geek. Think Geek is a store that is pretty much GameStop, but it's more the pop culture, the figures, and everything like that. My Think Geek usually has a bunch of Gundam model kits, like a lot. I'm talking nippers, markers, everything. They do not have it. And I think that has to do with the rise of Gunpla and the pandemic. Everyone having so much extra time, they've been going back into Gundam and it's becoming more available. So all the Gundam model kits, most of them are gone. There's a couple of stragglers, but that's pretty much it. What I did find was their t-shirts were buy one, get one 50. This is one of them and I only found one Gundam shirt. This one, it's this one, it's huge. It's huge, but I'm gonna make it work because it's so cool. It's just like this neon grid with all the RX-78 faces on it. And it was $21.99, but like I said, it's buy one, get one 50. And I had to take it home. So I have this one and I'm sure you guys will see it in a video in the future. Also, also, oh no, what did I do with him? <gasps> Where did my baby go? Oh no! Oh. So uh, like I said, there were a couple of Gundam kit stragglers, but what I did find is this V Dash Victory Gundam Converge kit. If you do not know anything about the Converge kits, they're literally little tiny chibi figures of Gundam model kits. And they're so freaking cool. They're so freaking cute. I have a couple of them over on my shelf. It was $6.99. They didn't have any other, they didn't have any other Converge kits because I would have bought all of them. I'm not gonna go out of my way to make like a little review of a little tiny Converge kit, but they're really freaking cute. So this one is actually bigger than the other Converge kits that I have. You can tell right here, here's V-Dash Victory, and then it comes with all of his little weapons, and unlike my other ones, he comes with a solid base, so I'm gonna build him later on. Here's his little tiny V-Fin, which is super, super prominent on the Victory Gundam, and then his little beam rifles right here, are right there at the top. I am a little sad that he doesn't come with his beam shield. Am I thinking of the wrong one on that one? Correct me if I'm wrong. Anyways, if you have never checked out the Converge kit, I, I just think they're cute. I mean, they're adorable. They're a subtle way 
to put like Gundam inside your office cubicle without putting a full-fledged kit that will probably grenade on your desk. <laughs> so I really, I highly suggest these. Hang on, let me go grab the other little guys that I got really quick. Cause this guy, this guy's huge, but, but as you can see, they're super cute. They're super chibi. They're so small. I highly suggest getting them just for a little bit of serotonin. <laughs> let me talk about this. We have a collab. We have a collab that I found as well. Uh, I found one shirt. Champion has a collab with Mobile Suit in Zoomias, which is a skateboard store. Well, skateboard, yeah, you know, they have skateboards and they have skateboard wear and stuff, but they have this really cool shirt. It's very expensive, but it's super nice material as you would expect from Champion, which by the way, like when I was a kid, Champion was like, like people made fun of you for Champion. Now everyone's like, yeah, got the big giant Champion logo. And I was like, man, when I was a kid, I was like, don't look at it. Don't look at it. Now everyone's like, look at my champion. <laughs> Notable mentions for if you just wanna go out or if you have extra time with your family or you wanna get someone into Gundam, there are like three places that you can go to right now and hopefully yours has in stock Gundams. A lot of people already know this now, but whoever I can tell, I let them know like immediately. Back in the 90s, Walmart, Kmart, all of them, they carried Gundam model kits for Gundam Wing. I mean, I'm not surprised Toonami was pushing that Gundam Wing like, whew. But today, today, Target is now carrying a limited run of a couple of Gundam model kits. They actually have like, they have one MG, it's always Barbados, it's never anything else. I know that online they probably do carry some other ones, but in store you can almost always find Barbados and Wing Zero. So go check that out, it's usually in the boys toy aisle next to Legos. And then if you go over to the pop culture section in the video game area, you will find the like actual figures, like their, their Tamashi Nation figures. They also have, I found them one time, they have these blind boxes that are really cool too. Hold on a second. At my one Target store, I have three Targets near me. Only one of them has like Gundams in stock. So that's why I'm saying, I'm not sure if your Target has it, but check your Target. They have these blind boxes uh, that are literally metal. Like, and when I say metal, I mean like they will hurt. Like they, they are extremely detailed. I lucked out on this one and got the special edition purple Zaku. They're not supposed to be purple. They're supposed to be, I think green and red. And I got the weirdo purple one, which is awesome because I love purple, like <laughs> purple Daku. And then of course they, we have just the generic RX-78 too. But Target also had these, which I thought was cool. So it's worth looking at if you've never thought to look there. I don't know. I always tend to look in the toy aisle anyways because it's right next to the board games, so. Second notable mention is Hobby Lobby. If you guys have not gone to Hobby Lobby or thought to go to Hobby Lobby, they always have a 40% off one item like coupon every single week. And that's what you should use to get an airbrush, an airbrush compressor, any of that stuff, paint off of one item and usually you can get it on an airbrush. And that's the best way to get a good airbrush at a cheap price. But usually every other week their model kits are 40% off and that's all model kits. They do carry a, a select few Gundams, not too many of them, but they do carry Gundams. They carry the Pokemon kits, they carry Star Wars, they carry Star Trek. Just walk through Hobby Lobby and just check the, I was gonna say mobile suit aisle, <laughs> the model kit aisle, and then you will see if they actually have them. Last but not least, I'm sure you guys know about it, but Barnes & Noble also happens to carry a bunch of Gundams. They carry Gundams, they carry model kits, they carry trading cards, all that stuff. So they're another one that's worth looking into if you've never thought to go in there. <laughs> and that is it guys. Thank you so much for all the support. It is Mobile Suit Miss Day 20. I feel like I'm getting my second wind and I'm starting to feel a little bit better. So I'm so excited tomorrow is Mobile Suit Miss Day 21 and hopefully we can get back to building and yeah, guys, get geared up, get ready for the holiday time. Let me know if you guys go to the mall or order anything online, cause I, I just, I, I don't know. I just think it's so cool that Gundam is, is becoming more widely available. It was always and has always been such a struggle to find kits, to find things. And it just seems like a new store is popping up every single day and they're like, ooh, let's get on this bandwagon. And I'm fine with that because you know what? More model kits for me. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow. Oh, I'm so excited. Bye.
have like a whole little chibi army and like I don't know if the framing's in here <laughs> like all my SD Gundams like I just like chibi cute things I don't know why this is a thing but I just really like little chibi cute adorable things look at how chunky unicorn is <gasps> taking over the world one chibi army at a time <laughs>